My name's Brian, and welcome back to Desert Theory. Today's gonna be a good day. We have a lot of extra help. We have my cousin James, Uncle John, and Uncle Mike. So, a lot of stuff gonna be coming out of the field today, going into the bins. So, uh, thanks for coming along, thanks for watching. Let's get going. Off that corn, there's kind of a, I think they call it chaff, or some people call it like bees wings. And uh, it's really kind of miserable. I don't know if it shows up on camera, but the wind's just kind of blowing right over the truck. And you can see here on the ground how much of it there is. See all that white stuff? It's actually just kind of miserable, but uh, it is what it is, I guess. It's just spreading perfect. Might have to wait for a little more light to where you guys can see it. It was perfect. So I told you that James, my cousin James is with us today. And uh, he's flying a drone right now. So any of the drone footage will be from James here, which is pretty sweet that he's uh, hooking me up with that. He'll be driving the straight truck most of the day. So him and I will be hauling a lot of corn and then Mike and John will be uh, combining and John will be running the grain carts. So hopefully we get a lot of acres knocked out. Right now uh, we're cutting to the top side right up along this terrace. So it's pretty neat looking opening up this part of the field. All right, James is going to land this right on the hood. <laughs> Okay, so right now James is just looking for loss. He's looking for corn kernels, and that would be loss out the back of the combine. Yeah, or just combined loss across the whole length of the header. So basically, the whole length of the header in a square foot, we find four corn kernels.
very much. We'll be we'll be filling up down there. Is about it. Oh, we got some deer running. I don't know if you can see that. Pretty cool. Yeah. Um. So he'll be doing most of the grain cart work out in the field. If we bring a grain cart, it'll be to him. We'll switch tractors, and then we'll be on our way. So. Uh, James and I will be doing a lot more trucking than uh, the grain carts work today. So for for anybody that hasn't seen them, how all these augers work on all these different tractors, as you can kind of see how when that spins, it's just going to bring that grain up. Now these are kind of cool. See how that auger folds down? So then when it folds back over, this pin gets locked into one of these positions. And then that's how it turns this upper, that upper auger piece. You really start forgetting how big these things are until you see them next to the semi or even stand next to them. They're just massive.
You can really see how big that grain cart is compared to the semi. Pretty wild. Unloading again. It's uh, the wind's picked up, which is kind of nice because it blows all this shaft one direction. You can really see when you look up there at the top of the bend. It's all flying out and leaving and not in my face now. It's nice. Southwest of us, basically on the Missouri River, which is that direction, and the bin site that we're hauling this corn to is also southwest, uh, about that direction. So, logistically, this makes sense for us. So I got my cousin Kate um, here with me this time. She rode out with me, and now she's going to jump in with her dad and go on the uh, in the combine with him.
So we're unloading again, and at this point, that's got to be getting kind of boring for you. So tried to find something else here and thought of something that was different than like on Zach's farm. So Zach, he puts everything in a big tank, and then that cycles through a dryer, and then it gets exported out to whatever bin they want to get exported to. Now a little more, I'm not sure if it's old school or if it's cheaper or both, but what this bin is, is it's the heater bin, a dry bin. So what you do is you, you put the corn in to the top, just like normal, corn comes down. Now you turn on the outside, I'll show it here in a bit, even though it's loud. I'll show what that is, but it's just basically a big propane heater. And it throws a bunch of heat underneath here and all that air is pushed by a fan just like normal, but it's heated. So now we're throwing heat at this corn and obviously it would burn on the bottom and not on the top. So these are stirators. So these things go around and they're kind of cut. So they bring corn up. They take the corn from the bottom of this bin and move it to the top. And if you can see, this whole beam pivots in the center, and then this outside piece goes around. Now, while it's doing that, you can see up here, there's motors for the stir stirators, but then there's also a chain right there. That chain goes to that motor, and that chain brings these both these uh, power heads and the stirators back and forth, back and forth. So as they go around, I have no idea how long it takes, but at some point, that's going to, at some point, that's going to bring all that corn up and kind of cycle it through. So the problem with this system is, is if you have more than one bin of corn that you want to dry you have to put it in here stop harvesting let this stuff dry out then like we did the other day you're going to open up these doors start your auger and run it out to here and then into a semi or somehow create something to where you could get it into another bin so it's just a lot more manual labor and it's a lot smaller volume they can get done so those big dryers that, that do it are definitely way to go if you're going to be drying a lot of corn but if knock on wood um, you can usually pull your corn out of the field throw it in the dryer and just have a fan blowing on it sorry throw it in a bin and just have a fan blowing on it, that's that's really uh, the only way you can get away with having a bin like this is if you're in an area where you don't have to dry it all over.
everybody it is the last load of the night I think that we are going to uh, call it quits here we won't uh, we're gonna go back park everything and uh, not even unload it tonight so this is gonna be it um, there's a lot of stuff we didn't film today that was just kind of the same exact thing going back and forth so um, I thought it would make for a boring video, and that's good because that means we're getting the uh, crop out of the field and everything's going well. So we have actually had a blast. Today has been great. We have gotten a lot of crop out. So um, really appreciate that you're following along and watching. I can't tell you how much we appreciate it, both in the desert racing and then in this, uh, this strange week of farming. So uh, thanks so much for watching. Uh, please like and subscribe. Thanks a lot. Okay, I lied to you. Had to show you what we did today. So this whole grain bin's full except for two rings. We have two rings to go. So, good day's work.